All right, so uh, this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well Leo Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading uh, March 23rd to March 29th, uh, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is uh, interested in a uh, personal reading, uh, personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below. And uh, there you're gonna find a link to my website from which you can purchase such. So that being said, uh, moving to the spread straight away now, the first one that we do have for you, Leo, that is to be the Queen of Wands, a follow, which represents the topic of uh, the week and the theme of the situation, really. Then the next one here, it is to be the um, energies that are feeding and supporting the topic itself, that is to be the Eight of Cups. Moving next, we do have the challenges that you will have to and need to overcome. In this case, that is to be the Eight of, of Swords, excuse me. Then uh, it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week, and that is to be the Six of Pentacles. Afterwards, what we do have, it is uh, the, the Eight of Wands, excuse me, which is uh, how people are looking at you, what kind of impression you're leaving into the people around. And the last one that we do have for you guys, uh, that is to be the guidance that Tara is offering, and we do have the World Card. Right, so uh, judging by the first couple of cards here, uh, the situation itself is going to be revolving around this individual Queen of Swords. But the question is, what exactly, how exactly that individual plays out within your uh, life throughout this week? Well, that can be seen here into the energies that are feeding and supporting the topic. And these are the energies of the Eight of Cups. So, uh, Suffice to say here, the very least, is that when the Queen of Wands steps in, I mean that individual steps in, which is someone that you can already know, all right? It doesn't have to be someone brand new. It is just up until this point, they did not take any, haven't taken any significant place around you. But right now, they really like said stepping in. So the very least, what they're going to do with those energies is to kind of like exert a fresh wind within your uh, within your en environment, because this is exactly what the Eight of Cups is all about. Um, extinguishing the, the boring nature of one's routine, especially these days when we are all under a quarantine, you know, and having more exciting things to do, or in other words, having having to think of a better perspective that are awaiting us moving forward into the future now additionally to that with those uh, with those energies here uh, through a either a corporation or a um a profound conversations for example or just simple deliberation with the queen of wands you may also identify that some things you are clinging into they are simply not worth your time and they're not worth your efforts either and uh, with that being said, with the help um, and the awareness that the Queen of Wands gives you, you may actually become more efficient when it comes to tackling with certain tasks, I mean, that are involving into your daily routine. However, the Queen of Wands, uh, these people, they like to be, I would say, praised, like they're the most important thing around, because this is just how they function. They do not handle criticism very well. So if you don't like something into this person, but they are very important to you right now and you want to have their favor at your side, it is better to keep your criticism for yourself because otherwise that will only going to create a additional pressure in between you and that person itself. On the plus side, Queen of Wands is someone who uh, it's quite aware or rather like, uh, how can I say, it has a... Uh, astute sense of how things can can be done all right and uh, it, it just has that almost um, I would say psychic abilities in term of a business endeavors and not just only business endeavors but as well Romans because the Queen of Wands it's it has that profound understanding into the human nature in a sense of what you need how you need it and why you need it as well and if she wants to please you I'm saying she because it's a queen but it could be as well a man uh, if that person wants to please you they very well know how when and why you want to be pleased as well 
So what we can see here just cumulatively from those couple of cards for you, Leo, it is that you do have a, a very, I would say, a valuable ally, if not vali if not an ally, it will be a, a person to cooperate with as well, that together can achieve a new great heights, new because like I said, this will be a, a fresh thing that comes into your environment as an endeavor, something that you are going to have quite a lot of content about when you think of how you are to move forward forward in the future uh, uh, forward in the future with it now in a, in a very rare occasions those couple of cards may speak of changing of the um, how do you say it in english um, of the leadership in a sense of that your boss getting changed with someone else and that someone else who really gonna have a pretty good idea how to push the things forward so if the company you're working in is struggling maybe that is what's going to happen here that uh, the um, management is going to be changed and the new management will be able to take the company off um, of the ground in that particular sense but needless to say for romans a pretty good card uh, it just Pretty much it could speak for a new person who sees you appealing here and they kind of like also know how to approach you in a sense of you know verbal communication and also a, a behaviorable uh, stereotype so moving next we do have the challenges that you need to overcome here we do have the eight of uh, swords and eight of swords in terms of challenges it's a, a card where points that you have to consider um, kind of like a different varieties of things and you shouldn't stick with uh, with already established patterns that you are going under meaning that if we're talking about romans here for throughout the week you have to consider a new ways of how romans can manifest okay if we are talking about job as well you have to consider that there are to be a little bit more awkward tasks and projects that you have to tackle with that you don't necessarily have a a hundred percent clue how to do it but you are going to get the hang of it very very quickly uh in another words here uh, this card pretty much points that you do have what it takes only if you allow yourself if I would say it that way that's uh, to think a little bit more bold than, uh, than usual you don't stick to the safer play uh, to the safer path but rather you kind of like have the courage to take a certain risks which are quite a calculative uh, calculated risks excuse me so the challenge wise here it is to believe that you can go for more and definitely achieve more and that will be pointed to you um pretty openly if i would say that way through uh, from the queen of wands that steps in into uh, your environment uh, moving next, we do have uh, the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy. That is to be the Six of Pentacles. So ultimately, what the card points is that while it is true that with the Queen of Wands, you are to understand that you can go for a, a bigger height, that is something that have been um, engraved within you. It is just you had no idea up until this point that you can do it. And you just need someone to basically reveal to you that you do have that you do have that potential to be with uh, the handsome person that you had no confidence that you can be for example or to tackle that project that you thought that you are going to have a imminent fail into it uh, the six of pentacles uh, <clears throat> in a as a gift and blessings it kind of points that you are to fit exactly where you belong okay and uh, looking at the eight of swords beforehand it looks like that you have been satisfied for way less than you could that you should have been satisfied up until this point and now remember throughout this week uh, it is not that you are going to have a great achievement it is the week where you understand that you can have a great achievement and from there uh, it does depend what you're going to do with that understanding and what you're going to do in generally with improvement or with improvement of your positions and of your skills as well um six of pentacles also points that you don't need any help whatsoever once again queen of wands it is there just to boost your confidence and to open your eyes for new varieties but in um in a general meaning of things you can literally tackle with everything that comes around with uh, by yourself although with the six of pentacles you definitely can get some help but that help is not going to really resolve anything but it's more like going to postpone the inevitable for you so if you need some time to catch up your breath you definitely can call some a um, 
connections or bring some connections into the matter. Moving next, we do have the uh, what kind of impression you're going to leave into the people around. Eight of Wands here stands as a brainstormer because in that particular position, Eight of Wands speaks for the agility and the swiftness of uh, and the swiftness of intellectual capabilities. Not just only of the mind, but it's it's more like a, a cumulative effort in between intuition and mind simultaneously. Basically, what people see in you is someone who is taking full advantage of the opportunities that are presented in front of them and are not leaving anything un unexplored and anything un uncalculated, if you will. And also people are gonna see at you as someone who is pretty well established in the sense of that you are to be a person who does not take uncalculative risks. Once again, like we said with the Eight of Swords, you have to take some but they are to be well calculated and that is seen as well into the eight of wands because usually the eight of wands sits as a card that it is high risk high reward type of thing but it's people that are seeing you with a quite um amplified intellectual and uh, intuitional if that's a word um you know abilities that are working cumulatively together uh, the risk are not going to be as big as it can be or as it should be. So it, it, in other words, you are to be more, um, well, you are to work smarter than, than, than harder in that particular, uh, in that particular situation. And finally, at the end, uh, what we do have for you, Leo, that is to be the guidance that Tarot is offering to you. That is to be the guidance of the world card. And the world in that particular case really speaks about that you have to be open for everything that comes new, just as the girl or the woman here in the card is. Now, uh, I, will, I will take a few moments here to explain you uh, those symbols that are really speaking for your situation. So we do have a naked woman here, which points that the naked woman kind of face the newness of the world in a, with with pure intention saying it that way and the veil falls through her body or around her body and veils are a symbol of mysteries in tarot so for that woman there is nothing mysterious moving forward into the future it's pretty much the woman sees everything that stands in front of her and is looking with a content about those endeavors that are bestowed upon her and are, are waiting for her to pretty much take on them and uh, finally we do have here the uh the oval that is made of i don't know how you call it that in english okay which points to a completion so pretty much like said uh, at the start of the reading this is just where you understand your true potential but before you actually start unfolding it here the world advises you to to first set everything straight that you are tackling at that particular moment do not leave any business unfinished before you decide to great to take on the new heights that you are to discover with this person queen of wands so that being said leo this was your weekly general tarot reading march 23rd to march 29 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh you stay safe now and hopefully we're going to see each other around until then bye